Hi, my name is Brock Bolden, fifth generation family employee, and this is an introduction to our aggregate process. It all begins 40 to 60 feet underground. The dragline crane will drag the bucket on top of the hard pan, gathering all the raw material to bring to the surface. Then our crane operator will dump these materials into a pile. Our excavator will load the 40-ton haul truck with raw material. Once the haul truck dumps the raw material on site, the Kawasaki loaders scoop the raw material and feed the plant. The loader will dump the raw material into the grizzly. The grizzly separates the large rocks from the rest of the material and sends the material onto the shaker. The shaker has screens with holes about four inches in diameter. At this point, the aggregate will take one of two routes. The first route is for the larger material, and the second route is for the smaller material. They will all join back together later in the process to reach the final destination. The first route is for the larger material. As the surface screen shakes, the larger rocks roll off onto another belt, which moves to the jaw crusher. After the jaw crusher, the smaller aggregates are taken to a hopper, which funnels into a cone crusher. A cone crusher is a thick metal cone that rotates inside the larger metal cone that grinds up all the bigger rock into sizes of our preference. These rocks will head to the belt in the tunnel. The second route is for the smaller material. The smaller material that passed through the shaker goes straight to the stacker and through the tunnel, where it will be mixed in with the rocks that went straight through the crusher. At this point, all the material is reunited on one belt. The dry process is now complete. Next, water is added to help wash and separate smaller sand-like material and smaller rock-like material from each other. The smaller rock, pea gravel, and the larger rock, L gravel, are separated and put onto belts that divide different types of rocks into their organized mounds. Lastly, the classifier separates the fine aggregates into two products, mason sand and 23 sand. At this point, the aggregate process is complete. All the products are cleaned and separated and ready to hit the market.